Our journey begins nearly 4.6 billion years ago. Picture a vast, swirling cloud of dust and gas. This is the solar nebula, the birthplace of our sun and its planets. Gravity, the great sculptor, pulled this material together. At the center, the sun ignited in a blaze of nuclear fusion. Further out, smaller clumps of matter coalesced. One of these clumps became our Earth. The early Earth was a fiery and chaotic world. Imagine volcanoes spewing lava across the surface. The air was thick with noxious gases. Meteoroids, remnants from the solar system's formation, constantly bombarded the planet. It was a hostile and unforgiving environment, yet within this chaos the seeds of life were sown. As Earth cooled, a crucial transformation took place. Water vapor in the atmosphere condensed into liquid water. This water collected in vast basins, forming the first oceans. These primordial seas would become the cradle of life. Within their depths, the astonishing journey from non-living matter to living organisms began. The Hadean Eon, named after the underworld of Greek mythology, paints a vivid picture of early Earth. It was an era of intense heat, volcanic activity, and constant bombardment from space. The surface of the Earth was in constant flux, yet this seemingly inhospitable environment was where the stage for life was set. As millions of years passed, the Earth began to cool. The relentless rain of meteoroids slowed. Gradually, the fiery surface solidified into a thin, rocky crust. Beneath this crust, the Earth's interior remained a cauldron of molten rock. Volcanoes erupted, releasing gases from the Earth's depths. These gases formed the planet's early atmosphere. The cooling of the Earth allowed water vapor to condense and fall as rain. This rain filled the low-lying areas, creating the first oceans. These early oceans were probably shallow and warm, covering much of the planet's surface. The stage was set for the next chapter in the story of life, the formation of complex molecules from simpler ones. The primordial soup. This evocative term conjures images of the early oceans teeming with the building blocks of life. But how did these building blocks, the organic molecules essential for life, arise from the inorganic matter of early Earth? That is the central question in the mystery of life's origin. Scientists have proposed several intriguing possibilities. One hypothesis suggests that life's building blocks were delivered to Earth from space. Meteorites and comets, remnants from the early solar system, often contain organic molecules like amino acids. These extraterrestrial objects could have deposited these vital ingredients into Earth's early oceans. Another compelling possibility is that life arose from non-living matter through a process called chemical evolution. In a landmark experiment in 1953, scientists Stanley Miller and Harold Urey simulated the conditions of early Earth in their laboratory. They combined water, methane, ammonia and hydrogen gas, thought to be present in the early atmosphere, and subjected the mixture to electrical sparks simulating lightning. To their astonishment, the experiment produced a variety of organic molecules including amino acids, the building blocks of proteins. This groundbreaking experiment demonstrated that the complex molecules necessary for life could arise from simpler, inorganic ingredients under conditions similar to those on early Earth. The origin of life is a puzzle with many missing pieces. We marvel at the complexity of even the simplest living cell with its intricate machinery of DNA, RNA and proteins working in perfect harmony. But how did this complexity arise from the primordial soup? The answer might lie in a molecule that is often overshadowed by its more famous cousin DNA ribonucleic acid or RNA. The RNA world hypothesis proposes that RNA, not DNA, was the primary genetic material in early life. RNA possesses a remarkable duality. It can store genetic information like DNA and it can catalyze chemical reactions like an enzyme. This versatility makes RNA a prime candidate for the role of both blueprint and builder in the first life forms. Imagine a primordial world where RNA molecules floated freely in the early oceans. These RNA molecules, through a process of self-replication and natural selection, could have gradually evolved and diversified, giving rise to more complex and efficient forms. Over time, RNA could have given way to the more stable DNA as the primary carrier of genetic information, and proteins as the workhorses of the cell. 
While the RNA world hypothesis remains a topic of debate among scientists, it offers a compelling explanation for how the complexity of life could have emerged from simpler beginnings. It is a testament to the power of RNA, this versatile molecule that may hold the key to unlocking the secrets of life's origin. Around 3.8 to 4 billion years ago, in the depths of the primordial oceans, a remarkable event occurred, the emergence of the first life forms. These were not the complex organisms we see today, but single-celled microorganisms called prokaryotes. They were simple, yet remarkably resilient, able to thrive in the harsh, oxygen-poor environment of early Earth. These early prokaryotes were likely chemo-autotrophs, obtaining energy from chemical reactions involving inorganic compounds such as sulfur and iron. They lived in a world devoid of free oxygen, relying on anaerobic respiration to generate energy. Their existence is recorded in the oldest fossils known to science stromatolites, layered structures formed by colonies of cyanobacteria. Stromatolites provide a window into a time when life was just beginning to take hold on Earth. They are a testament to the tenacity of life, its ability to thrive in environments that would be lethal to most organisms today. These ancient rock formations stand as silent witnesses to the first chapters in the epic story of life on our planet. Section 6. Oxygen, Breath of Change Life, once it emerges, has a remarkable ability to alter its surroundings. This ability is dramatically illustrated by the Great Oxygenation Event, a pivotal period in Earth's history that began around two and a half billion years ago. This event, driven by the evolution of photosynthesis, transformed the planet's atmosphere and paved the way for the evolution of more complex life forms. The key players in this transformation were cyanobacteria, a type of bacteria capable of photosynthesis. These microorganisms developed the remarkable ability to harness sunlight to convert carbon dioxide and water into energy, releasing oxygen as a byproduct. As cyanobacteria flourished in the ancient oceans, they released vast quantities of oxygen into the atmosphere. This influx of oxygen had a profound impact on the planet. Initially, the oxygen reacted with iron dissolved in the oceans, forming iron oxide or rust. This rust precipitated out of the water, forming vast layers of iron-rich sedimentary rocks known as banded iron formations. These formations found on every continent are a testament to the dramatic changes that oxygen wrought on the early Earth. Section 7, from simple to complex. For billions of years, prokaryotic life reigned supreme. These single-celled organisms, lacking a nucleus and other membrane-bound organelles, were the dominant form of life on Earth. Yet within this seemingly simple world, a revolution was brewing, the emergence of eukaryotic cells, the building blocks of all complex life. Eukaryotic cells, characterized by their membrane-bound nucleus and other organelles, are significantly larger and more complex than prokaryotic cells. They possess specialized compartments for specific functions, allowing for a greater division of labor within the cell. But how did these sophisticated cells arise from their simpler prokaryotic ancestors? The prevailing theory is endosymbiosis, a process in which one organism lives inside another, forming a mutually beneficial relationship. According to this theory, eukaryotic cells evolved when larger prokaryotic cells engulfed smaller ones. Instead of being digested, the engulfed cells continued to live and reproduce inside their hosts, eventually becoming organelles like mitochondria and chloroplasts. The evidence for endosymbiosis is compelling. Mitochondria and chloroplasts, the powerhouses of eukaryotic cells, possess their own DNA, separate from the cell's nuclear DNA. This DNA is remarkably similar to that of certain bacteria, providing strong support for the idea that these organelles were once free-living organisms. The emergence of eukaryotic cells was a pivotal event in the history of life, paving the way for the evolution of multicellular organisms and the incredible diversity of life we see today. Section 8, Explosion of Life. The Cambrian period, beginning around 540 million years ago, marks a dramatic turning point in the history of life on Earth. This period witnessed an unprecedented burst of evolutionary innovation, a biological Big Bang known as the Cambrian Explosion. Life, which had been simmering for billions of years, suddenly erupted in a dazzling array of forms. 
Before the Cambrian, most life forms were simple, soft-bodied organisms, leaving behind scant fossil evidence. Then, in a relatively short span of geological time, a profusion of new and complex creatures appeared in the fossil record. These organisms possessed hard shells, skeletons, limbs, eyes, and a dazzling array of other adaptations. The Cambrian explosion witnessed the appearance of most of the major animal phyla that exist today, from arthropods to mollusks to chordates, the group that includes vertebrates like ourselves. This explosion of diversity filled the oceans with bizarre and wonderful creatures, many of which have no modern counterparts. The reasons for this sudden burst of evolution are still debated, but it likely involved a combination of factors, including changes in ocean chemistry, the evolution of predation, and the development of new genes that allowed for greater morphological complexity. The Cambrian explosion was a pivotal chapter in the history of life, establishing the stage for the incredible diversity of life that has unfolded over the past 540 million years. It is a testament to the power of evolution to shape the living world, transforming simple single-celled organisms into the dazzling array of plants and animals that inhabit our planet today. Section 9. The Unfolding Story The story of life on Earth is far from over. In the eons since the Cambrian explosion, life has continued to evolve and diversify, adapting to ever-changing environments. From the colonization of land by plants and animals to the rise and fall of the dinosaurs, the tree of life has branched out in countless directions, each new branch representing a unique experiment in survival and adaptation. The evolution of humans is but one small chapter in this ongoing saga. We are the product of billions of years of evolutionary history, our lineage stretching back to the first single-celled organisms that emerged in the primordial oceans. As we delve deeper into the fossil record and unravel the secrets of DNA, we gain a greater appreciation for the interconnectedness of all living things. And yet, for all that we have learned, many mysteries remain. How did the first self-replicating molecules arise from the primordial soup? What were the exact environmental conditions that allowed life to flourish on early Earth? And perhaps the most profound question of all, are we alone in the universe? Or is life a cosmic imperative destined to arise wherever conditions are favorable? The search for answers to these questions is a testament to the enduring power of human curiosity, our insatiable desire to understand our place in the vast cosmos. The journey to unravel the mysteries of life's origin is a journey of discovery, not just about our past, but about our future as well. For in understanding the origins of life, we gain a deeper appreciation for the preciousness of life itself and the responsibility we have to protect the only planet we know of that harbors it.